Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HD broadcast, and today we are going to be looking at another game of Czech Prime, uh, also known as just Czech, spawning here as Zerg. Once again, I've uh, really enjoyed the last couple of games that we've seen of him already, and if you haven't seen the games that Czech's played, you've got to go back and watch both of them. They are both extremely entertaining, especially the one where he played against Just Fake. Um, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, just go ahead and check it out. But here we go, going to be another game of check. He's going to be playing here on Lost Temple. Uh, his overlord already moving in the wrong position. Um, seems like his overlord never likes to go the right way, but of course, this is the closest way to go uh, right off the bat. But anyways, check here spawning at the 6 o'clock uh, as the Red Zerg, and his opponent is going to be a Protoss this time. So I was getting a little tired of him uh, watching watching him slay Terran players all day long, so now he's uh, going to be playing against a Protoss. This uh, Protoss's name is Nex Genius, and I've never heard of this uh, Protoss player before. I'm not too familiar with all the Korean players. Just Czech and a couple others, you know, Maka, cool. But uh, Czech, you're going to be playing against Next Genius. Both of them are Korean, uh, or at least both of them are Asian. So uh, it's going to be a pretty good game, I hope. And it looks like Next Genius is going to be going for uh, an outside gateway here. So he is going to be possibly going for a two gate build. I've seen this work quite well against Zerg. And uh, what you got to do if, if a Protoss does go for two gate, you cannot go for your fast expand. It it is just so hard to hold on to uh, because of all those zealots and all you've got are zerglings. So uh, let's see if it's going to be a gate, a double gate build. Uh, it could be just you know a, a gateway in a cybernetics core or something. But you know it's hard for me to predict what the Korean players will do because they're just uh, so unpredictable. So uh, anyways, next here gonna be chilling his probe at the natural. But it looks like Czech is gonna be playing his uh, his uh, trademark one base zerg build. And he's already got that spawning pool on the way, got the gas running as well, so he's going to have that speed upgrade ticking away as soon as the spawning pool finishes, and uh, most likely going to have a queen and some zerglings popping out fairly soon as well. First, Chrono Boost being used on the Zealot, so Next Genius not getting a double gate build at the front door, but he is going to get a forge inside the base. Huh. If he had wanted to go for a fast expand, then I would have assumed he'd throw the forge here to help block off and then, you know, get the cannons back here. But he's going to be getting the forge in base and then throwing the cannons behind this wall. I'm not sure I agree with that, but we'll see what Next Genius makes use of that. And he also is throwing up a pylon right here, right outside of the ramp as he's starting to push forward with his initial zealots. These zealots are so fast uh, coming out because of the chrono boost. And I'm not sure why he's throwing up a pylon here as well. Perhaps he's going to use that to fall back to oh he's gonna be throwing a cannon up here oh duh <laughs> he's gonna be throwing up a cannon right outside of check prime's base now i see what he's doing oh my goodness how did i not see this before this is going to be so deadly if he can get up into the main uh with these cannons and this cannon he's just gonna leapfrog his way towards the zerg base but check prime already has a spine crawler on the way so he's gonna be prepared and the creep of course does not allow photon cannons to morph in uh, nothing can be built on the creep, in fact. Next, you're going to be coming in here with the probe to see exactly what Czech Prime is doing. And Czech is getting that spine crawler, has some zerglings. I think Czech is going to be just fine. I mean, he's got speed coming right now. And he, he's got these two queens. Uh, I just don't see what these cannons are going to be able to do. Obviously, next can keep the Zerg player to one base for a fairly long time with these uh, Zealots and cannons. And perhaps that is going to be his strategy. He's going to go for a, a, a Nexus down real soon right now. Maybe we're going to see a Nexus pop out. But uh, he has this warp gate technology being researched still on one gateway. Are we going to see more gateways go down or are we going to see a nexus? What is this probe going to build? It is going to be a couple more gateways. So I guess we're seeing a modified four gate build. We are going to see a fourth gateway right now, I'm assuming. Is it going to be a fourth gateway? Uh, 190 minerals, 200 minerals. Um, yes, it is going to be a modified four gate build. Oh my god, I have to do a strategy video about this. Uh, build order pretty soon here, but here we go. Check gonna be pushing forward with a spine with his spine crawler, gonna burrow it down almost in range of these photon cannons. And oh no, you do not want to get that close. And here's the thing next with these zealots on the ramp, he has vision of the spine crawler, and the spine crawler can't get in range of the cannon without taking some fire himself. And here we go, next is gonna push forward with this with the zealots, try to take out the spine crawler and the cannons here. Oh, they gotta fall, the zealots gotta fall back in range of the cannons. They do not want to die right there. 
up amongst the Zerg base. But here's the real threat. The four gateways morphing in. The, the warp gate technology almost done. And if next Genius gets his warp gates out and starts to morph in a ton of units down here, it could be lights out. It could be curtain curtains for Czech, who has now transitioned into a lair. He has a Roach Worm out as well. What is the production tab showing? A Nidus Worm coming down. Oh my god. God, what is going on? I, I, this game makes no sense to me right now. A Nidus Worm is coming out. The four gates are starting to push out those units, and there are a couple of sentries and zealots. This zealot is actually going to get taken out. A transfusion being used on the uh, spine crawler to keep it alive, and um. It looks like with these sentries, uh, next jet, next genius is going to be able to hold on to this ramp for a little bit longer. But the spine crawler is starting to burrow down, and the real threat now is this uh, Nidus network, which is starting to morph in. And here we go, four more zealots being morphed in. The transfusion being used on the spine crawler again. All the sentries getting taken out, so no force fields being able to uh, were able to be used right there. And the cannons firing away, popping off the spine crawler, but uh, all the zealots fall. And here we go, the Nidus network is up for check check here is also getting roach speed and it looks like he's going to be playing some kind of a one base mass roach hop in the nidus network and pop out right here and right now next genius has no idea this is coming he ha he does have four gateways though so he can warp in a lot of units but if this pylon goes down then it is just going to be gg there is no recovery if you lose this central pylon right here it, po it is powering literally everything right now and now next genius knows that there's a nidus network inside his base obviously going to morph in some units uh, where are his units morphing in and I don't see it there we go stalkers to the north the probes trying to fight off these roaches and it looks like next genius is gonna be able to hold off with his stalker and probe combination but uh, it doesn't look like in the meantime though it looks like next genius is gonna push forward into the Zerg main right now and check prime is gonna be able to hold on right here meanwhile the roach is actually not gonna be able to push these stalkers and kill them so both players trying to do some damage more roaches coming in but no critical damage has been uh been done been dealt by either player yet and now the nidus network is going to get taken out and that is all the roaches that are going to be inside the base and with the next round of the warp gate i think next next genius is going to be able to hold this off fairly easily he but he has lost quite a few probes though so that is definitely one setback he's down to 14 probes right now under 22 the roach is still alive inside the the, the protoss base and a second night is a worm coming out popping out from the cuts and more roaches coming in oh my goodness next genius thought he was safe when he killed off the nidus worm but a second worm popping out to replace the old one and now the probes forced to fight for their dear lives yet again and the warp gates are they just don't have there's no money to warp in re additional reinforcements because so many probes have gone down 12 under 22 the force is continuing to pour in from that nidus worm and the, that central pylon goes down everything goes unpowered right now uh, somebody did not pay the power bill and now check prime is just gonna take advantage of the protoss uh, weakness this has got to be gg but what an incredible strategy from both players aggressive 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 the name of the game and it looks like there's a gg from next genius so hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast what an interest interesting game in uh, in uh check versus next genius here and uh, i really i really did enjoy that quite a bit so hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast and uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos thanks a lot guys hd signing out